Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and it's 11.06 a.m., and it's Wednesday, July 6th, 2022. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing a new water drink that I got at um, Yukon, Oklahoma about a week and a half ago. About a week and a half ago, I went to Yukon, Oklahoma to film, um, spoiler warning, another part of the Clueless Cast podcast. Um, we talked about more of my novel that I've been writing, and um, yeah, since you know I finished it, they read more of it in their podcast, see what I mean? But yeah, we filmed that to be in, like, part of the documentary that I'm going to be a part of, but it may or may not be part of the documentary, we shall see, um, how it goes, you know, how it's edited and stuff, but um, anyway, yeah, I got this at the On Q gas station in Yukon, Oklahoma, um, it's a little bit past Oklahoma City, um, it was a little bit expensive, it was like $2.60 before tax, almost $2.80 for one, but um, yeah, um, I got three flavors to review, so I'm going to be reviewing the first one today. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing one I already tried before. Um, I had it the night I went to Yukon, Oklahoma, but um, so I already know what this one's going to be like, but I'm um, anyway. So anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the Pomegranate Grape Shine Water. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that bottle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, it has a clear top lid. You can see the color's like a brownish, reddish color. Um, it definitely looks natural, but um, it's definitely murky. Um, doesn't actually look too good, you know, just saying. Looks a little bit like muddy water, but um, anyway. Um, it says shine water, powerful hydration, pomegranate grape, zero gram sugar, vitamin D, 16.9 fluid ounces for 100 milliliters. Antioxidants, vitamin D, electrolytes. Yeah, this is like a sports water, sort of like the body armor drinks and like Gatorades and Powerades and stuff. Um, this is like a competitor to the body armors, but um, I can get the body armors for about half the price at Walmart. So those are like a better deal than this. And this is also a littler bottle compared to like the um, the body armor drinks. Um, so what I mean? But yeah, it shows the pomegranates and it shows the grapes. Vibrant flavor, bold, bright, radiant, vitamins D and B12. Boost your health with key vitamins in meaningful amounts. Antioxidants supplied by green tea keep your heart and body happy. Electrolytes increase clarity with potassium, magnesium, and zinc. In artificial colors or flavors, we partner with One World Health. Developed by physicians. Caffeinated, 25 milligrams, like a cup of green tea. So yeah, it has a little bit of caffeine, but like barely any though. So it'll get you a teeny bit lit, you know, just saying. Shinewater.com, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter logos. Drink Shine Water. Um, Best Buy, um, I'm not really for sure, oh, okay, yeah, January 20th, 2023, it's a little bit printed messed up, um, but yeah, contains approximately 800 IUs of vitamin D, yeah, it's a labeled bottle, um, it's ripped a little bit in the back, but um, I got the best condition one, a lot of the other bottles I had were like ripped in the front, so I got the best looking one. Well, it's a little bit ripped at the front, but um, not too much though. Um, I got the best condition one they had though, see what I mean? But um, anyway, yeah, powerful hydration, vitalize, strength, refresh, has SKU. Trishin facts, one serving retainer, serving size 16.9 fluid ounces, 500 milliliters. Amount per serving calories 15, total fat 0 grams, 0%, saturated fat 0 grams, 0%, trans fat 0 grams. Cholesterol 0 milligrams, 0%, sodium 20 milligrams, 1%. Talk about hydrates, 4 grams, 1%, dietary fiber, 0 grams, 0%, total sugar, 0 grams, with 0 grams added sugar, 0%, protein, 0 grams, vitamin D, 20 micrograms, 100%, iron, 0 milligrams, 0%, folate, 100 micrograms, DFE, 25%, magnesium, 168 milligrams, 40%, calcium, 65 milligrams, 6%, potassium, 500 milligrams, 10%, vitamin B12, 3 micrograms, 130%, and zinc, 4 milligrams, 40%. Then it has other ingredients. I'm going to have to pause it right quick. I have to turn on my air conditioner up a little bit more. It's already like 90 degrees and it's not even lunchtime yet. Well, in about an hour it'll be noon. See what I mean? See, so yeah, it's gonna be hot today. Really hot. Um, yeah, turn on my air conditioner up a little bit higher for a minute. I'm getting sweaty. Um, but yeah, I got this the Saturday before this past Saturday. So yeah, it's about a week and a half ago. Um, but yeah. Uh, Okay, the other ingredients, filtered water, malic acid, potassium citrate, magnesium citrate, citric acid, natural flavor, calcium citrate, fruit and vegetable juice for color, sodium citrate, Reba Audio Side A, Stevia, 
steviol glycosides, green tea, grapeseed extract, pomegranate fruit extract, zinc gluconate, ergocalciferol, vitamin D2, folic acid, and cyanocobalamin, which is vitamin B12, stirred by Shinewater LLC, Bay City, Michigan. I think it's Michigan, it's MI, but yeah, anyway, 48708, surf cold, settling on ingredients is natural, it's gluten free, it's vegan, has a U in the circle, NPPA free, and some recycling stuff, no preservatives, made in USA, and has a recycling logo. So, yeah, that's pretty much the entire bottle, so I'll let you see it right quick. I'll shut off up close in a minute, though. Sort of lighting, the ball's a little bit brighter in real life, but yeah, I'm in the shade right now. Part where the lighting is like behind me a little bit. So if I had my car parked the other way, I'd be blinded by the sun. There's the pomegranate and the grapes and stuff. And yeah, they had three different flavors. So I'm reviewing this one first because I already had this one. I haven't had the other two flavors. So those are going to be a little bit different. Look a little bit more interesting, I guess. And now for the nutrition pack side, there's this KU. Nutrition packs. Got their ingredients. Balls curved a little bit, so hopefully you can see that text okay. Okay, that's pretty much the entire bottle. Anyway, now I'm gonna show off the bottle up close right quick, so hold on a minute. Okay, I shut off the bottle up close, and I'm going to shake it up, open it, taste it, and give my review for it, so hold on a minute. I accidentally stopped recording, so I'm going to have to edit the clips together, but I'm anyway, inside the lid is like nothing. Yeah, the color is like a murky, brownish red color. Anyway, the smell. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, 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 well. Definitely a sweet but fruity smell, but also has a little bit of like a healthy smell. Definitely more of like a floral, natural sort of smell. A little bit earthy, but not too earthy. Definitely more sweet and floral though. It's bubbling up a little bit when I opened it, even though it's like non-carbonated. So it has some bubbles where I shook it up, but I'm anyway. Um, definitely smell the pomegranate. I might can smell the grape a teeny bit, but um, I don't know, to me it's definitely more pomegranate though. Um, so like a sweet pomegranate though, not too strong, but um, yeah, definitely floral smelling though. But um, anyway, I'm not going to try it, so here goes, definitely a very light scent. And yep, 
Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Tastes similar to how it smells. Definitely a floral, fruity, berry flavor. Um, not too strong. Well, it's actually... Actually might be a little bit more strong than it smells. Um, definitely has a little bit more of a earthier taste than how it smells. A little bit bitter, um, but not too bitter. But yeah, it's bitter and sweet at the same time, so it's interesting. Definitely tart, like really tart. A little sour, but um, definitely a really flavorful drink. You know, it's non-carbonated because you know it's a water. Um, but yeah, the flavor, um, definitely stronger I think than the Body Armor drinks. Um, those are more of like a lighter flavor. But still flavorful and fruity though. This is definitely more of like a stronger, darker tasting water, I guess. Definitely um, stronger tasting because you know it's definitely, definitely tastes the pomegranate. That's for sure. But yeah, I taste the grape a little bit, but um, not really too much. Um, it's a little bit like um, if you got one of those palm drinks, like the pomegranate drinks, you know, mixed it with like some. Um, not really Welch's grape juice, but, um, I think, um, it's a little bit similar to, like, the Ocean Spray, like, cranberry, like, juice drink. Um, I think if you mix it with that, uh, it tastes similar to this. Um, so, yeah. Definitely a little bit more of a cranberry flavor than grape, but, um, that's a little bit of a grape taste, though. Um, definitely reminds me of, like, those, um, like, grape popsicles a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you had that with some pomegranate juice, that would be like very similar to this. Um, but yeah, the flavor, definitely tart. Still definitely very fruity. The smell's definitely more floral though, but um, still tastes really good though. Um, it could have been a little bit cheaper. It's almost $3 for one bottle. It has a little bit of caffeine in it. It has some vitamins and stuff. So it still get you a little bit lit, you know, just saying. But um, to me personally, I think the body armor, like drinks are definitely more worth it than this is though. Um, because you can get almost, like, two for the price of one of these, you know, if you get those at, like, Walmart, you know, just saying, but, um, still okay for what it is, um, could be a little bit cheaper, but yeah, it's a cool design, it tastes good, so yeah, definitely try if you can find, it's actually pretty good, I'm gonna give the pomegranate grape shine water drink, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10, so, oh yeah, boys, it's lit, so, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10, oh yeah, it's a cool design, it tastes good, um, it has a cool ball design, it could have been a little bit cheaper, but yeah, still definitely try it. Has a little bit of an earthy tart taste, but not too much. Um, but yeah, the flavor is definitely, well, the smell is definitely more floral than the taste is. But, um, yeah, the flavor is definitely more tart, though. But yeah, still pretty good, though. So yeah, definitely try it. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Oh yeah. And we have two more of these to review. Stay tuned for those reviews. So, my upcoming reviews. There are more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.